What is going on guys? I am back with another Minecraft tutorial and today I'm going to be doing another rebuild. As you can see, we're going to be rebuilding the pet shop that I built almost two years ago. Once again, for the same reason as the other ones, so that the tutorial is easier to follow. So, we're going to be building the building itself, obviously, but then I have a cool statue in the front where the parking lot is. I think that's a good feature to the build. But that is basically everything. There's not much to this build. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So if you want just the building itself and not the parking lot or the statue, then you're going to be paying attention to the rectangle more towards the back side. And from left to right, you're going to need 55 blocks. And from front to back, you're going to need 26. Then if you want everything, which includes the building and the parking lot, then you're going to be paying attention to the entire shape. And from left to right, you're still going to need 55 blocks. And from front to back, you're going to need 48. Now for the space where the parking lot is, in between those two lines towards the front, you should have 21 blocks of grass. So for part one of this tutorial, we're going to be bringing up the exterior walls for the building. We're not going to be doing the roof, we'll go ahead and leave that for part two when we do the parking lot. But here in part one, you're going to need some white terracotta, quartz stairs, white concrete, black stained glass panes, and dark oak fences. Alright, so I'm currently looking at the shape from the front side. So this is the parking lot space, that is the building space. We're going to be starting at the front right side of the building. Make sure to have your white terracotta. And we have the shape here. We just want to go to this grass block, and this grass block, and we just want to place two. And now we could go to the left and place another four rows, so there's ten in total. So one, two, three, four. So now there should be ten blocks of white terracotta. You can switch to your, or your white concrete, go from the corner of that and back one. So just like from the corner, you could place white concrete, skip over four. On the fifth block, you could place another block of white concrete. Switch to your white terracotta, go from the corner again, and place a total of four. Switch back to your white concrete. You could place one here, skip over four. On the fifth block, place one. Switch back to your white terracotta, go from the corner again, you could place four. And now back to your white concrete, you could place a block here, then skip over four. On the fifth block, place one, skip over four again. On the fifth block, place one, back to your white terracotta, go from the corner and place four. Okay, so we'll go back. So we have a window. This is like the, um, the side of the building. So that is what that big chunk is. Then we have a window here, a window here, and then we have two front doors here. So maybe you walk in th uh, through this door and walk out this door. So just to go back, we have 10 blocks here. We placed white concrete, skipped over four. White concrete, placed four. Then white concrete, skipped over four. White concrete, we placed four here. Then we have white concrete here. We skipped over four right there, skipped over four right there. And then we placed four here in the corner. Now you can switch back to your white concrete. Go from the corner again. Place one, skip over four. On the fifth block, you could place one back to the white terracotta and place four from the corner so you can just keep doing this pattern until we meet up with that corner so we have this block one two three four on the fifth block place one here then go from the corner again and you're gonna have ten more so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we have everything marked out for the front side of the building so these are just like all pillars basically white concrete will be bordered around the windows and then we have some white concrete bordered around the doorways so the front side should be like this so far okay now i'm gonna head on over to the right we'll do this to the left side as well to these corners where the big space is 
make sure to have your white terracotta go behind this edge here and we're going to bring it back another 22 blocks so including these two it's going to be 24 in total so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two so we're still just right within the border here for the plot size let's bring this over to the left another four one two three four we'll add another layer behind it so this is what it looks like just like matched up with the front let's go to the other side and we'll do the same so basically all we have to do just bring it back 22 and we should be right within the shape here bring it over another four add an extra layer behind that so from up above at the front side we just like filled in the sides of the building those are all going to be just like a solid wall of white terracotta and it should look like this so now i'm at the back side of the building we'll head on over to the right over here make sure to have your white terracotta still we're gonna go on the second block right here and we're gonna place six one two three four five six now you could go out and place two go back in place another six one two three four five six so this is what we just did let's head on over to this side do the same thing so one two three four five six two here back in another six one two three four five six now let's go back out we're going to completely fill all of this in until we meet up at the corner of this wall so from up above at the back side is this is what we have so now i'm back at the front side of the shape we'll head on over here to the right and we just want to make sure to add one more layer of white terracotta so i'll show you where to add them right here we just want to add one layer we're going to skip over this space we're going to fill in two more here skip over this space fill in two all of that's going to be empty the two spaces here we got to fill in then the two spaces here and then the other four spaces all the way at the left side okay so make sure to do that okay now i'll just head on over to the left side over here at the front make sure to still have your white terracotta and we just want to add an extra 13 layers on top of this layer here so it's 14 in total so we just want to fill in the six blocks here so now we have one so we need 12 more so two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen so it should be fourteen in total let's fill in this side as well so we just filled in the six spaces we made it 14 in height let me just make sure so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen okay now let's head on over to the left side we're gonna fill in these six spaces we're gonna bring it up a total of 14 again so just like an extra 13 layers on top of that bottom layer that we already had so as you can see there is a one block gap in between these two pillars so what we're gonna do is go in the middle here bring up a layer like that okay and we'll just leave it like that for now so here at the left side we're gonna completely fill in this wall so i'm actually gonna grab a potion of swiftness this is going to be a solid wall of white terracotta until we meet up at the back corner. So all the way back here. And just bring it up to the same height as that front pillar. Okay, I brought it all up. So just a solid wall of white terracotta. Let's go to the back pillar. We're gonna fill in an extra two spaces next to that wall. We'll just bring it up.
Now? Oh wait, hang on. I wasn't supposed to fill in this space. So let's go ahead and carve just this front space out. Like that. And now we have another two spaces here. Four in total. So we'll fill all of this in. So it's going to be matching with the front. Okay. And let's see. Then, oh yeah, I almost forgot. We have to add... Oh no, we don't have to add an extra layer back here. So it's going to look like this. Alright. Same as the front. And then we just have a solid wall of white terracotta here. This goes back three layers. But at the back side, we only need it to go back two layers. Because at the back side, it's just a solid wall. There's nothing special about it. Alright. Now, let's see. So these sections here are going to be a little bit lower. But let's head on over to the right side of the building now. And we'll start bringing this up. So I'll head on over to this left corner. We'll fill in six spaces. Go to the right, fill in another six. And now we just want to add 12 more layers on to that so that it is 14 in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Whoops, twelve. <laughs> My bad, just twelve. So now from the bottom to the top, it should be 14 in total. All right, now let's head on over to this section. We're going to bring this up as well. And now for the space in the middle, we're going to go in one and fill all of that in. So it should be from the bottom to the top, 14 in height, just like that side. Now let me grab my potion. We'll completely fill in this wall again. All right, I'm doing the final layer. Now I'm at the back side. We're gonna fill in just the two spaces here, right up against the wall, bring it all up. And then we'll skip over this. You know what, we'll go to the back of this part, just bring it up. And then we can fill in the extra four spaces next to that. So now we have both sides to the building filled in. All right, so I head back up to the front and this is what we should have it so far. Now at the front side, we have these pillars or like these sections here. So we just want to add another 10 layers on top of those. I'll head on over to the right first. So we'll have one, two, three, four five six seven eight nine and ten so all the way from the bottom where we already had that first layer to the top it should be 11 in total i'm gonna do the same to the rest of the three spaces here at the front so what you could do is just bring it straight up until it's like uh, at the same layer as the other pillar you don't need to count it All right, now at the front side of the building, we just brought up all of those pillars. Looks like this. Now let's head to the back. What we're going to do is bring up these sections here. Another 11, or no, another 10 as well, so that they are 11 in total, just like the front. So we have one. And we'll do it for this part as well. So I'll bring these all up another 10 layers. Just add 10 more layers so it is 11 in total. I'm going to use my potion. So we have two. Now we just need nine more. Okay, guys, I have this layer and then just one more. 
so it should be from the top or just like from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom it should be 11 in total in height so it just matches up with the same height as the front pillars so this is just a solid wall of uh, white terracotta all right now let's head back up to the front uh, we could probably do these stairs and the pillars at the front or at like the uh, right and left side we could do the windows and the doorways and then yeah we have a few more things and then we just like basically brought up all of the walls we might have time to actually do the roof but we'll see anyway let's head on to doing the rest of the front side okay let's do the cool stair design where the uh right and left pillars are so you can switch to your white terracotta add one extra block here at the top then an upside down quartz stair underneath that and a regular stair down below just a cool little design to add a little bit more to the pillars let's do the same on this side so one extra block of white terracotta quartz stair on the top and the bottom Let's go to the back side of the build. We'll do the same thing. And then one more time over here. All right, there we go. Now let's head back onto the front and we'll start doing the windows. Okay, back at the front, make sure you have your white concrete. We'll just head on over to the right side first. Where we already have this white concrete, you want to add an extra four on top of them. One, two, three, four on each side, so they are now five in total. Let's go next to that. We'll place two there, two there, and then two right down the middle. So it kind of looks like an arch. We'll do the same here. One, two, three, four on each side and then basically just like straight across then two here and two here and we did it wrong because just like one there all right we'll do it how we originally did it so it looks like that all right now for this space we need another four on all of these pillars and then we'll just bring this straight across so this is going to be the doors now over here we got two more arches for the windows one two three four and we'll just bring it straight across and one block in the corner like that we'll do it one more time one two three four one two three four straight across and then one block in the corner okay now you can switch to your black stained glass panes you could fill the, like fill in all of this empty space within the white concrete for the window. Like that. We'll do the same thing here. Alright, now for the doorways. You could bring this up four blocks in height on each side. We'll do the same here. Now you could curve out the bottom block skip over the second one and curve out the two at the top you can switch to your dark oak fence fill in that empty space with a with a dark oak fence to act as a handle back to your black stained glass panes you can finish filling in these two windows then we have the doorways and the windows done we have to add a few extra little things with the quartz stairs and some more white terracotta to finish filling in these front walls and then we'll probably do the pet sign and we'll leave it at that for part one but at the front side this is what we have so far so now at the front make sure you have your white terracotta we'll head on over here to the left side on top of this white concrete we can add a layer of the white terracotta now bring it out one extra layer like that so it's just like overhanging by one we'll do the same here and then the same for these other two windows on this side now you can switch to your quartz stairs 
go towards the back layer place a stair like a layer of stairs upward and then upside down on top of that you could do the same on this section okay now head on over here do the same thing again Okay, now above the doorways, make sure to have your quartz stairs. You should be just one block higher than the white concrete. You can add upside down quartz stairs going straight across. On top of that, you can just add another layer of regular stairs. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Now let's switch back to our white terracotta go on top of these quartz stairs we're going to add another two rows on top of the quartz stairs like this we'll do the same on this side and now on top of this switch back to your quartz stairs towards the back side of those layers and add them upside down in between these pillars Go to this side, do the same thing. Alright, there we go. Should be looking like this so far. So now, let's finish off the front side. Make sure to have your white terracotta. Go on top of these quartz stairs. We're going to add another two rows one more time in between these pillars. And now after this, let's go to the middle section where the doorways are. And we'll go ahead, add a layer, or just like add multiple layers on top of the quartz stairs until you meet up at the same height as the pillars for this section. So just another four layers of white terracotta like that. Let's add another layer here at the front so it's at the same edge as the pillars. Okay, now on top of this section, we're going to bring it up another four. So we have one here. So that is one. Now we just got to bring it up another three. Alright, so the front side of the building looks like this so far. We'll go ahead and do the pet sign. Is this all good? Yeah, it looks a little weird. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do the pet sign. And then that'll be it for part one. So in part two, we'll finish the exterior, which will be the roof. We'll also be doing the parking lot and the statue. Then in part three, we'll do the entire interior. And that'll be all, the, all of the parts for this build. So the original build... Uh, only has three parts this newer version well it's actually like the same version but this rebuild will also have three parts but let's start doing the pet sign and we'll leave it at that for part one all right so we could switch to your white concrete we're gonna start shaping out the sign it is just pets that is it so we're gonna go at the top edge of the white terracotta here in the middle and then we also want to leave one space here at the left one space at the top so you're going to have a white concrete block there. So just one block all the way around. Then you could go ahead and bring this down another. So it's like five in total. One, two, three, four, five. You could go to the right two. Bring this down three. To the left one. So we formed the P. You could skip over one space and have the E. So just bring this down another five. Then one one and one switch to or like skip over again we're gonna have the t so you could place three here then one two three four 
And now we have the S. Skip over another block. It could place two here. Bring it down two. Go to the right. Bring it down two. Go to the left. So there we go. We have the sign at the front in the middle. And that is going to be it for part one. Okay guys, that's going to be it for part one for this tutorial on how to build this pet shop. If this did help you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part two. Later.